Two people have been killed at the residential area of the Nigerian Defense Academy in the early hours of today. One other person has also been abducted, according to a statement by the Academy spokesman Bashir Jajira. The statement goes on to indicate that the Academy community and cadets are safe and that the attackers will be apprehended. Chidi Omoje joins us now live. He is the editor-in-chief of Nigeria Security Digest. Hello, Mr. Omeje. Yeah, I'm here. How are you? I'm good, but I feel the network is playing up. Okay, how is this possible that soldiers will be killed and kidnapped at the NDA? Well, um, just like every other Nigerian, uh, it was... Uh, it was shocking. It was uh, it was embarrassing. It was humiliating, really. Uh, but it was not um, unexpected because uh, you have the magnitude of insecurity in the country that uh, you you've seen. We have seen. There's nothing we have not seen actually. You know, we've seen a lot of things happening. Um, and and you see, um, I'm not really um, you know, so shocked because uh, if you know that particular. Um, area that environment called NDA it is a very expansive institution, you know. And I understand that they came in through the area far away from the uh, prying eyes of the security guards. And of course, the um, you know, it's something that uh, I won't believe that they were taken on unawares. And uh, in any case, whatever, sorry, I can't get you. You had it. You have it on good authority that they did not come in through the gate because some other reports uh, revealed that they came in through the gate. No, no, no. no. I had in military that, uniform. I, no, I, I think. I, well, I, well, what, from my own information, I got that I had that they came in through the rear in the night and uh, through the you know where the uh, residential quarters. So it couldn't have been through the main gate. But uh, that, but that's not uh, that's, that. That doesn't really uh, matter. What matters is that uh, something like that happened. And uh, it is part of the criminality we're talking about. So to me, uh, is a, a cause for worry. It is a national embarrassment. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, I want to believe that the military should be able to you know, track down those bandits and then serve justice to them. All right. Uh, when I first heard this, the first thing that came to mind is the Nigerian Defense Academy. Where else is safe? How worried should Nigerians be? Well, that is the that is the that is not the reality. It is a, it calls for worry, no doubt about that. Nobody expected it, and uh, you see, if you know the psychology of these uh, criminals, these bandits, or well, we, some people some people say you shouldn't be calling them bandits that they are terrorists. I think I want to believe that if if uh, if they are able to infiltrate such a fortified situation, then uh, they, are, they, are, they are really um, you know something to worry about. But like I, I what what we should be uh, talking about right now is what do we do to uh, stop this uh, you know degeneration of insecurity in this country? Uh, lamenting about the NDA will not help anything. It has happened. It has happened. Uh, now what do we do? How do we get the one they abducted out? How do we uh, make sure that uh, something like that doesn't happen again in the future? That should be what that should be what should be uppermost, uppermost in our mind for now. That's what I think. So what should we do? Because we've asked this question many times over and over again when we experience similar incidents in the country. And so what should we do, Mr. Meje? What, what should the Nigerian should military do? do? What should the Nigerian government do? What should Nigerians do? What should Nigerians do? Yeah. Good, good question there. This, this time we are in is very, very momentous. The time we are, the times we are in is very, very, um, how do I put it, quote, unquote, exciting. Exciting in the sense that you have a magnitude of insecurity that is confounded. So when you have such a situation, the best you do as a country is to what is, is to, to support the government, support the military, make sure that we do not talk in, in a, you know, we don't we don't distract them in in, in their um, you know plan, in their efforts to surmount the problem. We cannot just sit back and begin to lament and begin to probably uh, uh, laugh at the military or. You know, jail and the government, that's not going to solve the situation because you don't know where next, where next they will strike. So the best thing to do now is to say, say something when we see something, support, you know, provide information when we, when we, when we have them to the, to the nearest security agencies. And of course, uh, you know, um, make sure that we play our own part as, as 
citizens. You know, sitting back and laughing at or scoffing at the situation will not help anybody. We should be talking about how do we make sure that this, uh, you know, the security across the country is abated. I am worried as a person that yeah. our country is passing through this, this sort of insecurity at a time like this. Can I just tell you that I don't know any Nigerian right now who is laughing at the Nigerian military, but rather they are worried, one, for the military, worried about the country, and wondering what do we do? As a government, as a military, now you've answered what should Nigerians do, that part, but what should the military be doing now, different from what they've been doing before now, and what should the government be doing now, different from what they've been doing before today? Um, I think it's okay. Let me let me let's let's start from what government should be doing. Government should uh, understand that uh, when you have a situation like this, you have to carry the people along. You have to make sure that you galvanize support across board. You have to make sure that you know you don't you don't uh, you know uh, do things that actually you know, make it uh, make it easy for criminals uh, or make make it. But there's things like this to happen more. So, and then coming to the military, I think the military, on, the, on their own part, uh, should uh, invest more on an intelligence, invest more on their intelligence assets to, to, to be able to nip these things on the board. Because uh, I, I want to believe that the um, the crime that took place today was not just didn't just start. They made them have planned it. They have probably there are some infiltrations. Probably there are some moles that were able to give to give them uh, you know uh, information that were they were able to infiltrate the area. But uh, you know, we must uh, let's not, let's look beyond the military now. Let's look at you know how we as a country should be able to you know uh, walk you know in one voice and to ensure that these things are you know a bit uh, nipped on the board in the future. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Chidi Omeje. Thank you, it's my pleasure. I appreciate that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.